Ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another video. So today we will be rehousing some scorpions, in particular the Liurus quinquestriatus, also known as the Death Stalker. So we have a pair here, and we have some new enclosures for them, which will be significantly larger and more spacious for them. So without further ado, let's see how they will adapt to the new enclosure. So we will start off with the male. So let's see where is the new enclosure for this male. But before that, let's take a look at how he is doing in the current enclosure. I mean, for now, it is actually suitable for him. But I prefer that my specimens have a little bit more of a deserving enclosure. So with that, our new enclosure for the specimen is this. As you can see, this is actually a much more significantly larger enclosure in terms of size and we will be filling it up with some Inbrit's Paradise Sand Substrate, in particular the white substrate as it will be contrasting very well with the yellow color or beige color body of the Lyurus Conquestriatus. So let's get it on! And for the hide, I am providing this Lyurus Conquestriatus male with a custom hide that I've been making for them, for almost all of my specimens actually. <laughs> so I'm gonna be adding in a few bits and pieces and as, as well as some of the previous substrate into this enclosure just to, you know, to ensure that it adds a little bit more of a character to the enclosure. And now it's time for the risky part, <laughs> trying to ensure that this rehousing is actually successful. <laughs> so let's see how it goes. It's a little bit of a hyperactive one, as you can see, it's just moving around. Earlier I was trying to run up, but successfully cupped it. And now time for transfer. But because it's refusing to come out, a little bit of a shaky shake, still not coming out. So a little bit of coaxing with the tweezers and he is out. Let's give it his signature bottle cap water dish. that done now is to fill it up with a little bit of water and this enclosure is done this rehousing is done And now with the male rehousing done, let's move on to the female Death Stalker. As you can see, she is more than happy in this current enclosure, but eh, as I said, time to give them a better enclosure. She's chunky, and I give her that chunky. And would you look at that, significantly larger, more space for it to crawl around. This is going to be a major upgrade for this Death Stalker female. Same as before, we will be filling up the enclosure with the white substrate. She will also be receiving a custom hide. <laughs> She's definitely going to enjoy that. And now it is her turn to undergo the cupping experience. <laughs> Come on, big girl. It's time to go to your new enclosure. And would you look at that? She's really looking forward to coming to the new enclosure. <laughs> nah, she's just too adorable.
And last but not least, of course, the water dish. We can never forget the water dish. Ignore what you guys just saw. It never happened. Nothing ever happened. And time to fill up a little water dish. And with that, we are done with the rehousing for the female. You never really truly realize how beautiful these specimens are until you see them up close. Such beauty. Alright ladies and gentlemen, we have come to the end of this rehousing session. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did. It was really fun and also risky. So if you guys enjoyed the video, do not forget to hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell for any future videos. With that, thank you for watching Inverts Paradise and out.